we were ready. I, I just knew we were ready to do another album. So uh, we got on the phone with Keith Sewell, and he put a wonderful band together once again. Moonshine paid the bills thanks to Daddy's copper steel, and there weren't none better for a country. I have a lot of songs in my catalog, and I have a hard time whittling them down because they're my babies. I had to stop myself at about 80 songs that I, I got together for Keith this time, and that was really unfair. I'm, I won't do that to him again on the next session because uh, that was quite overwhelming for him to have to try to whittle, whittle it down to, to 13 or 14 songs. But we did. We just went over and over them until these were the undeniable choices. Loving on my daddy's hand. Papa and that black snake could a crooked road So we cut the first five songs at a place called Ocean Way. I've heard of this studio my whole music life here in Nashville and couldn't wait to try this studio. We were getting the B room, so I was thinking B room small. B room is big. I wanted to bring some of the mountain back into this CD, but I also wanted to show some of my personality in some of the other songs that I write. Well, I first became aware of Donna Ulissi in the 90s when she was making country records for the Atlantic label. And I remember thinking what a great voice that is and what a future she had and how unique it was. And I would often wonder what happened to her. And then I found out that Donna was making bluegrass records, which made complete sense. I didn't grow up writing bluegrass. I grew up listening to Loretta Lynn and Norma Jean and, and Dolly Parton. And I sort of found myself in this music and a natural spot for me. I don't deserve what I have to serve. This punishment's too strong. You'll never set me free. When I hit the bluegrass market, it was as if the skies opened up. And this is truly where I was supposed to be. It, it's, it's in my writing, and it's in the delivery of a song, and it's in the way I love the audience. But I'm sure locked up in my mind. I'm stuck here in this cell. This lonely, broken hell. I'm doing time, I'm doing heartbreaking time. It amazes me the way these bluegrass records of Donna's uh, are sequenced, the musicians that she uses. It's obvious when you listen to one of her albums that great care has been taken and every detail uh, is attended to. She makes really great records. She writes incredible songs. Every one of those songs is a journey full of ideas and images that is not typical of a lot of bluegrass music. I think the standout in terms of the sentimental songs is really Hand Me Down Home. You know, I'm somebody who came from uh, a place that has been handed down and handed down, and even though uh, it's in a completely different part of the world, it's really relatable, and the fans are going to love that song. It's more than land, it's heart and soul, my daddy's pride, the family goal. It ain't heaven, but it's awful. Memories move around like ghosts, filling up the cracks and holes. It's like I'm never here alone. In the so hand me down I'm in love with my husband. I, I've been in love with him for years. He's my best friend and it's he's easy inspiration. We sit out there under the the awning outside on the patio and sing old songs for hours. That's what we do. And I've been singing with Rick since I was 15 years old. Cause when I'm waking up a morning, if I 
find you sleeping by my side Then all those mountains on my journey Steep and curvy are just an easy climb When I think about our life, it is a melody. It's a beautiful melody and I sat out to write a song this this day I, I was writing a song about Rick and I thought, well what is it about what is it about Rick that's so easy? And it's he has made my journey easier. He's he's lifted the load and it's been an easy climb.